All right, guys, so as you guys are all aware of, and I'm sure you guys are looking forward to, just like I am, Rancho Del Arroyo does come with a new patch, and there are patch notes, and I've got them all in front of me here, and we're going to go over them. I'm going to go down the list, and I'll put them up on the screen for you guys so you guys can see them as well as we go over them. I'm not going to get into great detail about all of them, but if there's anything that I can kind of note or kind of get into in accordance to any of these specific uh, patch notes or fixes, uh, we'll talk a little bit about them, but we'll kind of go through. There's a lot of dog fixes, and uh, yeah, let's just start at the top, Diamond White tail deer will no longer weigh more than 100 kilograms that's a huge one and you can geez, i mean you guys know why they would put that at the very top that's a very important one there will be no more bugged great ones no more overweight broken white tails no more level fours and fives hopefully and uh from what i've seen in the beta everything seems to be working fine with them it is incredible you guys are going to absolutely love hunting the white tail on mexico uh backpacks will not be visible in first person cameras so that means that you will not see the top of the backpack jutting over your shoulder and you also won't be able to look down and see the uh the waist strap of the backpack so that's nice that they fix that fix the slow motion bug for dog at tracker level 1 and 16 perfect fix the crash when user orders the dog to track within 50 meters of a rabbit corpse that is a good fix fix the issue of tents disappearing with an active dog nearby when user resumes gameplay after quitting to main menu that is a huge one that was why i didn't have my dog with me uh for the longest time here leading up to the beta i've now got ruben's back ruben's been on vacation in mexico we met up with him and uh, but yeah he had to go away for a bit because of that was the main bug that was really doing it for me i kept forgetting that you know i would just log out and then I would lose a couple tents so really happy that that's been fixed uh, animal corpses will no longer be invisible after walking outside of render range and back so that's the render bug that we're all aware of that was a really gnarly bug especially for newer players uh, a lot of people lost some really uh, really good trophies unfortunately because of that bug that is going to be completely fixed uh, which is amazing that is fantastic news uh, fix the issue of missing antlers on the trophies in the trophy lodge so that pertained to the render bug as well if you did pick up uh, an animal that had gone invisible and you taxied it the antlers or horns wouldn't show up in your trophy launch so that's been fixed as well to go along with the the render bug fix uh, but it's not retroactive okay so if anything in your lodge was affected because of that it's still gonna look like that unfortunately it's not retroactive uh, moving on fix the issue of ATV lights turning on and off at nighttime when third person camera is toggled nice okay I ran into that bug a few times I'm glad that's being fixed that is perfect uh, and then moving on to additional updates animals and environment reworked the spawning rates for geese that is awesome we can hunt geese again hopefully they're perfect fixed and good to go fix the disappearing of great one whitetails that previously existed in the reserves animal population after restarting the game a lot of people are going to be happy about that dog will no more be slow in notifying user of a harvested animal buffaloes near lookout tower will no longer cause damage to the user on first floor very cool fix the issue where female dog showed up even when user purchased male dog that's a nice one that actually happened to me um, so I'm glad that they fixed that that's perfect another dog fix moving on weapons gear and character hunter mate screen will not go invisible after switching reserves now love to see it you love to see it I, I saw that so many times and uh, I'm glad that they, they get that fixed it was kind of a, a little bit of a wonky pretty janky issue there uh, fix the issue where scope became invisible for a weapon while switching ammo types that is very handy that is nice that they fix that uh, fix the issue of users character sliding drifting during gameplay when controller is reconnected after being disconnected so that's a console thing I believe that's uh, solely console that will no longer be an issue fix the issue of sight disappearing on bows after switching to a different arrow type beautiful fix the issue with rangefinder bow sight not displaying range or aim dots love it my gosh and then there is a second page it keeps going on and on and on uh, just an incredible amount of bug fixes um, really exciting stuff fix the issue when player could not jump or go prone after changing reserve while in a tree stand beautiful I had that happen a couple times uh, user interface and multiplayer removed the black circle which appeared around waypoint marker so that was not supposed to be like that a lot of people weren't sure if that was something that was intended it was not it is now fixed removed and updated the placeholder text in my dogs tab when user does not own any dog perfect fix the dog status icon while tracking live prey the effective range stats for rifle ammo will no longer display low values in store and inventory so all these little things you know these little bugs that people have been noticing they've gone in and they've fixed like everything pretty much everything that I can think of here is on this list uh, fix the issue where incorrect values were displayed for individual reserve and global play stats in codex menu fix the issue of user not being able to fast scroll through EULA pop-up using a controller and then we've got some miscellaneous stuff uh, including user will be able to pet their dog in the trophy lodge very cool we can we can now pet the dog in the trophy lodge that's a nice touch 
Uh, Dog will now gain a portion of total XP when starting to track a harvest, and the rest of XP will be added when the harvest is found. So even if uh, for some reason your dog doesn't find the harvest that it's looking for, it's going to get progressive XP leading up to finding the harvest, which is really nice, and I think that actually makes more sense that way for sure. It will be easier now to complete the mission, the perfect Libre in Quattro Colinos Reserve. Uh, improvements. So we've got some cool improvements here too that we'll go over. Our character artists worked their magic in updating color and fur textures for existing animals like whitetail deer, mule deer, coyote, bighorn sheep, and merriam turkey. And that is awesome. And I can tell you right now, the coyotes, there's definitely a difference. They look, they definitely look better. They don't, they look more like a coyote is really the only, the only way I can, I can say it. They've added like some fuzz to the neck. The faces definitely look different. They got a really good tweak and they are looking sharp at, for an example there. And that's really cool that they did that. I wasn't actually expecting they were going to do that. That's almost like a bonus and it's really nice. And yeah, so now the turkeys and Silver Ridge Peaks are effectively called the Merriam turkeys, not just turkeys. So we've got Merriam turkeys and Silver Ridge Peaks and in Mexico, we've got the Rio Grande turkeys, which is super, super cool. The user can now see other users waypoints in map during multiplayer session okay that's actually that's pretty cool i'm into that that's going to add a different element to multiplayer that's actually really interesting made some audio engine performance improvements refactored and standardized pricing for multi trophy mounts very cool users character will get hurt by the cacti if they collide with them that's something we we are all aware of i think anybody that saw any the the ew stream where tk was running into them i've run into a couple it's pretty easy to dodge them you just kind of have to be aware enabled footprints for dog in snow that is awesome super cool added a a new carcass found icon to notify a user when dog is done with its harvest search. Awesome. Nice touch. The maximum tracker level that dog can achieve is 15, which is now indicated in tracker level icon on dog screen. Perfect. So now the dogs will, they're going to max out the way that they're supposed to. Level 15 tracker level. That is awesome. That is nice that that is fixed. Dog will now sniff each blood spot more evidently while tracking blood clues. Excellent. Added a check mark to indicate which dog is active in kennel screen. If user has more than one dog, that's going to be super helpful. Now users can auto run using a controller and it basically goes through that. So tons of stuff here, just a huge, huge list of patch notes and fixes and improvements and uh, lots to be excited about here going into uh, this new DLC with Mexico. All right, guys, I want to show you guys just a quick list of the new multi mounts. Now, I don't have them all set up just yet. I have a few things in my trophy lodge, but I don't have everything that I need for all of these multi mounts. But I want to just go into the list just to give you guys a quick introduction to what they have added. Uh, they've added a bunch of multi mounts with some of the new species. So this is this is one that I do have set up. This is the fleeing pheasants and I'm showcasing here a gray plumage type and a common both males and uh, super cool bunch of different things you can do with this mount. Um, so you can see the difference between the two. So that's our gray and that's the common. Uh, there are a bunch of different variations for these um, and they are incredible. And then what I'll do is I'll just bring up the list here. Um, so the other ones that we do have that have been added are hot javelinas. So you need two male collared peccaries for this one. I don't currently have that one set up just yet. A uh, pair of predators is another one. You need a male coyote and a Mexican bobcat for that one. Rival rabbits, two male antelope jackrabbits for that guy. What else do we have here? Fleeing pheasants is right there. That one you need two male pheasants. They both have to be male. Another one that they have added is two turkey types. You need one of each, the Rio Grande turkey from Mexico and the Merriam turkey from Silver Ridge Peaks or T. Auro. You need a male of each for that one. That's super cool. I'm a big fan of the, the fact that they did that. I like them mixing up different species from different maps. I'm, I'm hoping that we get to see more of that. And also keep in mind, these are just what they've added for now. I'm, I do have the, I get the feeling that they're going to be adding more as well. And yeah, that's it. So that's, those are all the ones that they've added so far. I'm hoping that we get to see something with uh, mule deer, uh, hopefully uh, like a huddle mule deer, maybe something with mule and whitetail together. Uh, I'd like to see more bobcats and javelina on multi-mounts. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'm kind of hoping that we were going to get something uh, turkey and pheasants on the same multi-mount, I think would be really cool. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys like the video, drop a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, consider doing that. I stream every single day and I'm uploading daily content as well. Feel free to join the Discord. The link is down in the description and I will see you guys in the next one.